Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a solo game of Greed is Good just to give you guys an idea on how the game works, looks, feels, and plays. I'm not that great at live commentary so I'm going to try to do the best I can. I'm also not super familiar with the game like I am with Dark and Darker so I am bound to make mistakes. I'm bound to not know what things are or how to do certain things. So if you are experienced with this game and you see me do something and you're thinking, wow this guy's a noob, well that's probably why. So today we're going to be jumping in on Bowen, which is basically the equivalent of the Barbarian in Dark and Darker. And we're just going to go in and just give it a try. So recently I've been making a setup to where I can actually play on my computer from the bed if I want to. Just so like me and my partner, we can sometimes play certain games from the bed on our TV. And I was actually playing Darker. I about called it Dark and Darker. I was playing Greed is Good on the TV earlier and I was just having a lot of fun even with my kind of jank setup which we're gonna be rectifying here pretty soon um, that's besides the point I was having fun with the game earlier so this is my first time since playtest 1 which when playtest 1 was out I only got to play about an hour of this because it wasn't up for very long but this is the first time I'm playing it again since then so let's just hope that the experience is a lot better so obviously as you can see we start off in a tavern kind of like how it was originally in dark and darker so kind of another sign that this was probably something that was stolen from this uh game and tried to implement into dark and darker but then dark and darker obviously had to get creative and come up with new uh pre-game lobbies but i'm gonna try not to focus too much on dark and darker i just want to focus on this game and just cover it as you can see i'm using a war mall today now, one thing that is different that I am noticing with the War Mall and Greed is Good and Dark and Dark is that there is no infinite combo. And you can also see the alt attack is also very different. It looks like it, it juts out the hammer and then does an overhead rather than trying to do kind of a, a swiping attack with the hilt of the weapon. That'll be interesting to see. You can obviously still combo attacks in this game as well. So... That's a good sign at least. One thing I have been testing with this game is seeing if the game can differentiate uh, what the fastest attack is when you hold down both attack buttons, but it doesn't seem like that's how this game works, like it does in Dark and Darker. So we're just gonna have to manually do the combos ourselves, which is totally fine. So it's just another thing that we can learn to do. So one cool thing I like about this game is if you hold the consumable buttons you actually get a radial menu which is so useful compared to the uh the way it's set up in dark and darker where you basically have to press the key multiple times just to switch items this way i can just bring up a menu and i can just swap out what i want on the bar at that time again guys i am a complete noob at this so you're gonna see me make mistakes i apologize for that and if there are any issues, whether it's performance, the way I think things feel, if it feels rough or smooth, whatever, I'm going to try and commentate on it as much as I can. Hopefully, however, I don't end up dying to a player in a very noobish fashion, so I'm hoping for that at least. I can break this barrel. Can. I should probably also take off... Uh, my chest piece because I'll get more damage from a passive that I have equipped currently. So just like in this game there are protection potions and healing potions but there's also uh see these are called protection potions but these actually give you continuous HP but there are actual I think shielding potions. I don't know what they're called however. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong on that. So if I do find them I'll try to point that out if I do find them. Looting and, and breaking things is all pretty similar to Dark and Darker. Nothing out of the ordinary here, honestly. I just heard something. Uh, oh, Owie. So one cool thing I like about this game is that when you use potions, you can actually cancel using them mid-use. Which I think is really useful if you want to save something. Because sometimes you accidentally bump the key and you don't mean to do it. Obviously, a little bit of an FPS issue I'm noticing in this area. That's fine. I 
I'm gonna open up this chest and see what's in here. Just trying to play like super safe right now. A game I was in earlier actually ended up killing two people. Killed a uh, a fire mage and I think a ranger, I believe. Oh, cool. We even have a map. That's awesome. I didn't even know we had a map in this game. That helps a ton, so I can actually see like where I'm going. I'm going to try and play the game off of sound cues and just use that to find my way to things. But I want to try and avoid bringing attention to myself if possible. Ooh. The mage and looks like a zombie down there. I want to see if I can try and find a player to kill. That's kind of my focus for this video of showcasing the gameplay. I want to find a player and kill him. Oh, just heard a berserker. It sounded like it was to my left. Is that a mob? Yep, it was. Gonna go this way. We're gonna see if we can pursue that noise we heard. If this room looks a little too, yeah, that room looks a little too dangerous. Plus, we're on the edge of the circle. It's not good. Maybe it's best if we just kind of hang out in this area and just wait for something to change. Which I might be able to get to the sky this way over here. Turned off the lights in here, which doesn't help me to navigate. Got some bats. Things hurt. I'm gonna drink a health pot. HP regen going. I'm so used to dodging things in Dark and Darker, so like, <laughs> I'm kind of timid with this stuff. Trying to learn how I can like, maneuver around things better. Again, AI could definitely use some work, but I mean that's, that's a common problem with Dark and Darker as well. So it just looks like strafing works here. I just need to aim better. There we go. Circle's closing in, so I guess we'll just go back over here. Obviously, you can also loot the bodies of enemies, just like you can darker. Great sword. Looks like you can do an overhead attack with this. What's the left click look like? Okay, so it's got the same animation as his Y-Hander and Dark and Darker for the left click. I'm gonna stick my War Maul. We'll see. We'll see that. It depends on the... Hear a player. Somebody's banging on something. They're definitely over here. That is one nasty looking mob. I don't know if I want to. Doesn't look like anybody's been through here yet. gonna stay put because I hear a guy here near me. 
He's probably seeing this same mob I am and it's just like, huh? I don't know if this mob leashes, so it's like, that's why I'm kind of reluctant to push forward. You know what, screw it. Screw it. It does not look like it leashes. That is not good for me. Now I know I heard a guy over here. Thank you. Thank you, Trap. Appreciate it. You can also use items just out of your inventory by right clicking them. That's pretty helpful. I guess we'll just wait and and see what happens because I swore I heard somebody over here. Well, it did leash eventually, so that's good. Um Mob didn't. We obviously got an exit portal there. I don't think anybody's gonna come over here to use it though. I lied. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, got him good. See, I'm just looting all his good stuff up. Obviously, some stuff I don't need to take with me. Got a lot of good stuff on him, though. Torches. I don't care about those. Oh, I couldn't drop it. Can I drop this? I can. Pants. Place my crappy one of his. Opens up some more room for loot. Uh... Honestly, I might just wait here again to see if I can get someone else. Not worth it, I guess. We'll just get this portal open and leave. At least we got one little fight. Didn't really showcase much of the fighting against players. The guy was probably already low. But there you have it, guys. That's basically how it goes. And got my levels. Shows me my kill count. Some other stuff that's pretty useful. Man, look at me. I'm a beast. Let's go to the merchant, sell some stuff, see how much money we made. Right click to put things in. Got a lot of stuff, geez. So 97 gold and then... Everything, 72. Oh, that dagger, I'm going that. So 80 gold there, pretty much. Plus the 92. Pretty good haul, honestly. Go put it up in our stash now. You just hold control and right click everything into your stash. Super useful. This button do. Ooh, it auto organizes things. That's really cool. Well, anyways, guys. Um, Obviously, yeah, the game's got some rough spots. But what game doesn't? Uh, I definitely think, though, you guys should download it. Give this game a try. It's actually really, really interesting. I do like it, and I am enjoying it. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya.